forward. The color guard is in position. Whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight. welcome each of you for coming out on this national holiday, Memorial Day. We pause to honor and to recognize and to reflect and remember those who were courageously gave their lives while serving. They paid the ultimate sacrifice, freedom for our country. The Bible says, no greater love that a man would lay down his life for his friend. We will never forget this nation under God will forever remember and renew our pledge to defend our nation, to liberate the oppressed and to pave the way for continued peace. May God bless America and may God bless you. Thank you. Welcome everybody today. We thank you all for coming out on this beautiful Memorial Day. Uh, recently I had the good fortune of meeting our guest speaker today, Mr. Seth Calloway who's recently exited the Army, but uh, his Army career is an illustrious one. Seth Calloway started his Army career as part of the Georgia Army National Guard. After a year-long deployment to Afghanistan, he decided to transition to, F to active duty. In 2012, he was assigned to the 3rd Infantry Regiment, the Old Guard. Many of you may be aware that they are located in Washington, D.C. After serving in the Commander-in-Chief's Guard for one year, he went through training to become a sentinel at the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. Seth served as the Assistant Relief Commander at the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier from 2013 to 2015. After leaving the tomb, Seth was stationed at Fort Carson, Colorado with a dismounted reconnaissance troop conducting pathfinder operations and another deployment to Afghanistan. Seth's final assignment was as a recruiter in Hiram, Georgia. His awards and decorations include the Combat Infantry Badge, Expert Infantryman Badge, Airborne Wings, Pathfinder Torch. He's the 630th Tomb Guard, and he has the Identification Badge to prove it. He has Meritorious Service Medal and numerous other awards. Seth is the proud father of Macklin, seven, and Everly, two, and the proud husband of Christine. Welcome, Mr. Seth Calloway. Good morning. I first want to thank all of our distinguished guests that are here with us today. Thank you, Mayor. Um, I also want to thank American Legion Post 294 for putting all this together. Y'all did a great job, so thank you. Um, I also want to thank all of you uh, who are here with us today. Um, you could be doing a million other things on this gorgeous day, 
uh, but you all chose to be here to honor and remember uh, our fallen comrades. Last but certainly not least, I want to uh, thank any Gold Star family members that we have here today, if we have any. Thank you for being here, and also thank you for your service and sacrifice to our great country. Uh, I want to thank you for having me speak with you today. It is truly an honor and a privilege to be with you today on such an occasion as this, honoring and remembering our service members who made the ultimate sacrifice. Memorial Day was first known as Decoration Day and was designed for the purpose of strewing flowers or otherwise decorating the graves of comrades who died during the Civil War. The first Decoration Day was first celebrated on May 30, 1868. Since then, Memorial Day has evolved over the years uh, to also commemorate any other service members who fought, fell during the World War I, World War II, Korean War, Vietnam, and the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan. Memorial Day is just that, a day to honor and remember who, uh, all who made the ultimate sacrifice in defense of our great country. It is vitally important to understand the true, many, true meaning of today. The parties are nice, the cells are great, however, today is about honoring and remembering the ones who died in combat. Over my 13 years in the Army, I was extremely blessed to meet and serve with some incredible men and women. I have been fortunate to know several who made the ultimate sacrifice. And I've also had the highest honor and privilege of guarding our nation's most precious gifts, the unknown soldiers. This year will mark the 100th year of the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. It was interred 100 years ago in Arlington National Cemetery. Then in 1958, the unknown soldiers from World War II and the Korean War were interred at the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. Then again on Memorial Day in 1984, following the Vietnam War, we had an unknown soldier uh, interred at the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. That ceremony was eulogized by President Ronald Reagan. It wasn't until Memorial Day in 1998 uh, that the Vietnam Unknown was disinterred and later identified as Michael J. Blassie of the U.S. Air Force. I had the distinct honor of guarding our unknown soldiers from 2013 to 2014. During that time, I uh, learned a, a great amount. My time there was spent. My time there was spent trying to obtain perfection. At first, I really didn't understand why everything we did between uniform preparations, outdoor performance, knowledge of the cemetery had to be perfect. I was running one evening through the hollowed hills of Arlington National Cemetery, passing one hero after another. I remember thinking about the sacrifices that the men and women around me made. They were fathers, mothers, sons, daughters, husbands, and wives. They were no longer to pick up their kids from school, All right. take a phone call from their mother, or help their spouse with the groceries. They were robbed of the many things that we consider trivial. I remember thinking about the difference in those heroes and the unknowns. Even though they all made the ultimate sacrifice, their family still had a place to come and honor and remember their fallen family member. The unknown soldier was robbed of that. Not only did they give up their lives for our country in the fight for freedom, but they also gave up their identity. As a young man, I was told you were a man, you're a good as your word, or your word is your identity. Realizing that these unknown American service members gave up everything to include their identity really stuck with me. It made me realize the why we have to strive to be perfect. If these brave men and women can die for their country, be nameless and known but to God, then they deserve our absolute perfection. They deserve all of our best. Throughout my journey in the military, I've always struggled with the thoughts of our fallen comrades. 
You struggle with the feelings of guilt, shame, anger, and sadness. It was shortly after I became a father, I had more of these thoughts about my friends who paid the ultimate price. Friends who were fathers, sons, husbands, wives, mothers, and daughters. I can only imagine what it must do to our Gold Star family members today. I was asked at one point, what would our fallen want? Only then did it dawn on me. They would want us to be happy and to remember the good times. They would want us to take care of their families. They would want us to just tell their story. They would want us to go on about our lives, but just slow down and remember theirs. As we go about our business today, may we pause and remember all the soldiers, sailors, airmen, and Marines who made the ultimate sacrifice and died for our freedom to include those that are known but to God. Soldiers never die until they are forgotten. May we never forget. Thank you. From the mountains to the prairies to the oceans why with all God bless America my home sweet home God bless America my Let us depart in peace and in love and charity with our neighbors. May we be joined together in the common goal of service to God and our country. Let us drive safely and carefully to our homes and may God's blessings be with us all. Amen. Amen. Amen.